I had about with an astrocytoma about 25 years ago. I was diagnosed in 2010. Mark's an eight-year survivor now. I had a brain tumor three and a half years ago, helioblastoma. The Brain Initiative will give scientists the tools they need to get a dynamic picture of the brain in action and better understand how we think and how we learn and how we remember. You know, culturally, um, I know it's in this country and it's probably international, there is a fascination with the brain. And it is one of the most uh, frustrating when you talk about the neurological diseases because of the complexity of the brain. But the fascination is really driving a whole new line of interest in research. Because if you can figure out what is going on with the brain tumor, in addition to helping brain tumor patients, it may unlock mysteries for all sorts of neurological diseases. If you can figure out why a brain tumor is occurring, it might hold answers to who knows what. So we are very interested and very excited about the Brain Mapping Initiative and the prospect that holds for neurological diseases in general, but certainly for brain tumors in particular. When you're talking about breakthroughs, they mean different things to different people. Uh, the ABTA is uh, not only working towards breakthroughs in labs, but we're also looking for breakthroughs in people's lives. As people are living longer with brain tumors, and there are more and more who are, quality of life becomes a big issue. And so in addition to the biological research that we're funding, we're also looking at quality of life and really what is survivorship. A breakthrough would be driving. <laughs> I haven't driven a car in five years. I'd love to see that Maureen could lead a meaningful life and have a long life. If we could slow it down and give people a chance to fight back. For me, the breakthrough would be a cure. Sometimes the needs of the individual patient and the family are not the same. And so the ABTA wants to be there for the patient, but also the caregiver and the family. They've taught us to help each other, and that's what you need to do. It's been hard, but it's been a blessing in disguise as well. It's brought our family together. It's baby steps. The research that we fund is very important to the treatment the patients receive in the doctor's office, and so we really feel that they are interconnected and that the research that we are funding, we're making sure that the healthcare professionals who are providing that care are aware of these breakthroughs and that the patients are aware of these breakthroughs. What we're trying to do when ABTA is funding this research is to determine if we can figure out is there a genetic profile where they can tell in advance what course of treatment you're most likely to respond best to. And that's when we talk about improving, extending, and ultimately saving lives. And that in itself is a breakthrough for brain tumors. I can do this. I can do it.